This is the uh, R in Italy BLA 350 plus high frequency linear amplifier. Well, I finally got it online and it's uh, working the way it's supposed to. Uh, at this time, uh, I still don't have a PTT cable, but the one good thing about the uh, this amplifier, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, it, uh, it has an internal Vox and I'm able to transmit with it without a, a PTT a relay cable. And also I'm not using the ALC cable. Um, there's there's no need to use a, a ALC the ALC cable with uh, with this amplifier. Um, the way you just always got to make sure you have the uh, power turned down on your uh, transceiver. Uh, they don't recommend no more than 12 watts of power RF power going into this thing. Uh, the most I've ever put through it so far is uh, uh, seven watts. Uh, the ballon on my antenna is not, uh, it's only rated for 200 watts, so uh, uh, I won't go over 200 watts right now because of the ballon. I do have a new antenna coming that will uh, take 1,000 watts, so uh, I'm going to uh, crank the power up on this thing when I get the new antenna up. And, um, but anyway, I'll show you a little bit about the, uh, about this uh, uh, linear uh, let me see, I'll go to, uh, let me put it on uh, FM and we'll do a power test. Uh, let me see, where is FM? There it is. Okay. There's the watt meter. Um, it's only rated for 300 watts. But anyway, with uh, uh, my power going in is... Uh, uh, let me see here, wrong thing. Yeah, power in is uh, 7 watts. And uh, I'm on FM. Let me key the mic up here. Uh, on FM, let's see what it will do. This is on the uh, 300 watt scale. Uh, right there, just shy of 200 watts. And that's with 7 watts in. <laughs> um, one uh, problem I was having <coughs> was uh, with the internal box was um, you can set the delay time in it. Uh, I it comes from the factory with a 500 millisecond uh, delay, which is a half a second uh, for the delay, and uh, it was uh, the relays was went to clicking. Uh, I don't know what the deal was there. But, uh, so I set it for uh, the maximum delay, which is uh, a thousand milliseconds. I guess it's a second. <coughs> and um, the problem went away. And uh, when you're on single sideband, there's a switch here. You've got to have right there. You've got to have it on uh, single side. You push that, and this S will come up after manual. See that S? That means you're ready to talk single sideband. If you don't have to key it, if you don't turn the single sideband on and get that S up there, your relays will click like crazy. And it also would do it uh, on FM. The relays will click in and out. They're not real stable, uh, even in the FM mode. But I found that with the S on, if you put it in single sideband mode and put the S up there, uh, the relays are fine. It'll, it'll hold right. As soon as you key the mic up, it'll hold. It'll hold. So, uh, I don't know what the deal is there. I don't say that to do that in the manual on FM, but uh, to get FM not to, you know, click, click the real clack. The, the relays are just clicking and clacking. This is, is crazy, but uh, I don't know why it don't uh, specify that in the manual. But anyway, uh, the amp uh, is doing really good, and uh, some of the people I've been talking to notice uh, a difference in my signal even at 200 watts uh, over the what I was running 100. And uh, everybody's telling me you're sound, I sound a little louder than I, than I normally do. So, uh, so uh, you know, even even just uh, increasing your power from 100 to 200 uh, is it may not show up on an S meter, but it shows up. It could, you, the the listeners can tell in the audio that the audio is a little stronger. So, uh, 
Uh, but anyway, I probably uh, won't run no more than 300 watts uh, out of this amp. And um, that satisfies me. But uh, the fans are, are uh, a little bit noisy. Uh, you could, there's adjustments on those. Uh, where you, I've got it in quiet mode now to where they're not on. Uh, when you get it from the factory, they run all the time, uh, slowly. And then when it gets a certain temperature, it'll, uh, about 100 degrees, I think it is, uh, they'll, they turn on, and then the hotter your, uh, your heat sink gets, the faster the fan blows. But I've got it in quiet mode, and uh, they won't, the fan won't turn on until it gets, uh, they, uh, it, right, they'll turn on at about uh, somewhere over, a little over 100 degrees. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that's a look at the uh, RM Italy uh, BLA Plus High Frequency Linear Amplifier. Uh, it's about, uh, I think I paid uh, with tax and everything around $1,200. And, uh, you know, that's that's not bad for a, for, for just a little lamp like this. It runs off of 110. I, I don't think I could uh, run an amp too much bigger than this with my uh, current, but... Uh, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens in the future but uh, I don't plan on getting anything any bigger but anyway I hope you enjoyed the uh, operation I know I didn't do too much with it but uh, uh, maybe uh, I'll put up another video later once I get my new antenna up and also I, I do have a PTT cable coming and uh, there's five different settings on the Kenwood for the linear control, and I don't know exactly which one out of those five I'm supposed to use. I've uh, I've contacted DX Engineering through text and email, and uh, supposedly they'll uh, hopefully they'll get back with me and and uh, inform me uh, which of those five settings I should use for the relay cable. But uh, anyway, that's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching the video.